Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. are discussing a very very interesting topic uh, that is about the personality uh, of the leaders right that is the and there are so many questions are there related to the personality and the first question arises that what is the personality how a person develops the personality why the some persons are very um, effective leader uh, how they develop that personality so you must be curious about the knowing all these things and that uh, in this session we will be discussing uh, this particular issue so, first we will talk about the understanding the personality. Now, you see there a lot of research has been done and the researchers have their uh, opinion about the personality uh, that uh, the, the prominent uh, well accepted uh, definition some of them uh, I would like to interact with you. Then uh, there are the uh, actually whatever we say the characteristics it is the personality traits are there and the uh, what are the personality traits and leadership is there. Then the trait theory is there. The, the Alpert's threat theory is there, Cattell's threat theory is there, approach avoidance framework is there, big five or ocean model of personality that we will be discussing and as usual the case study research papers, book recommendations and references will be there in this session also. Now, whenever we are talking about the persistence, uh, so nothing in the world can take the place of the persistence, right. So, uh, in uh, Indian culture also you will find that is the we right from the uh, childhood the value system which we imbibe into the child and that is about the persistence right. So, the, the talent will not uh, nothing is more common than the unsuccessful man with talent. Hmm? So, therefore, in that case, uh, case uh, that is you will find there are the ta talented people are uh, there, hmm? uh, but they, they are not successful. So, th therefore, even they are having the intellectual ability and they are not successful. Genius will not right unrewarded genius is almost a proverb right so therefore in that case even if you are genius not necessarily you will get the rewarded education will not the world is full of educated delicts so therefore in that case it is not like this that is the um, there are the if you are very highly educated so you will be successful persistence and determination alone are the omnipotent but what will make you the successful and it is your persistence and determination right. So, press on has solved and always will solve the problems of the human race and therefore, in that case uh, uh, what is most important is this there is a persistence, persistence and persistence. Uh, as uh, I mentioned it is the different uh, researchers have given the different definitions of the personality on basis of their research right. So, let us see some of them. The personality is the sum total of all the biological innate disposition. Hmm? So, therefore, in that case uh, uh, when we talk about your DNA, when you talk about the skin color, when we talk about the col uh, color of your eyes, color of your hairs. So, that is a biological innate disposition, impulses, psychological tendencies and appetites and instinct of the individual right and therefore, that is the acquiring the disposition and the tendencies are there. Alport has given in 1961 another definition personality is a dynamic organization within the individual. So, it, 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 so it, it is true that is every individual is an organization uh, within uh, his uh, um, uh, this uh, 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 within himself right. So, therefore, it is uh, within within the individual of those psychological systems that determine his unique adjustment to his environment. It is a wonderful and uh, you must have also experienced that is the uh, we are getting a different environment and then we adjust ourselves with the different environment and that, that, that psychological adjust system right and which determines that is uh, uh, in a given situation how to adjust right and that, that, that is about the personality according to the Alport is there. R. B. Gettle in 1965 has given the definition personality that which permits a prediction of what a person will do in a given situation. 
it is also response to the situation. So, Alport has uh, talked about the in a given environment that is in a given, given environment what will be the situation and uh, here uh, it, it will be that is uh, uh, in a given situation. So, Arby Kettle has talked about that is in a given situation uh, how a person will respond uh, that will de de decide about the personality of the individual is there. Now, what determines the personality? So, personality is determined by the heredity, environment and situation. Right. So, personality reflects the heredity and environment and therefore, factors determine at conception one's biological and then the physiological and inherent uh, psychological makeup right. and therefore, in that case if, if these are the parameters are there which are very very important and that is about the um, biological uh, parameters you know? like for example, the height. You know? So, somebody sees your, your um, uh, grandparents uh, uh, see you and then they say oh you, are your friends uh, talk to you that is you are looking like your father right. So, that, that, that is the biological uh, is there and then when we are talking about the physiological and inherent psychological makeup is there that will be respond as per the uh, uh, heredity is concerned. Environmental factors are very very important do have some uh, have some influence culture, family, background life experiences and socialization process is there. So, therefore, in the, in the culture, in the family, hmm, family background, so person develops, the, then accordingly the value systems develop. The way whenever we are giving the uh, particular uh, culture uh, or we are living in a particular style of uh, family, uh, then our, our perception, our thought process is uh, also uh, directed towards this type of this uh, uh, thinking uh, system because we have developed into that particular environment. So, personality has two meaning the impression a person make on other right that, that is the how the you make a uh, impression to others uh, by your personality and underlying unseen structure and processes inside a person that explain behavior. This is very very important dear friends as far as our subject is concerned. Uh, so, uh, okay, so, whatever the person express uh, that we can see, we can understand, but whatever the person is inside unseen structure and that is uh, very difficult all of us are having the uh, an organization within our system right that word is very beautiful that is the yes it is very difficult to say that whatever is what you are seeing and that that is the truth only that is not correct under uh, uns, uh, unseen structure and processes a person's uh, uh, that uh, that also explains the behavior of the person most research about the relationship between personality and leadership is based on the trait approach. Hmm? Trait are the recurring regularities or trends in a person's behavior. Trait approach theory maintains that people behave the way they do because of the strength of the traits they possess. Right? So, personality traits are there and therefore, in that case this particular theory talks about that whatever type of the traits you are having and that, that particular trait theory. Right, and that, that will de uh, determine that is the how the person will behave. And uh, on basis of this personality traits, uh, we are there, which are very useful for explaining why people act fairly, consistently in different situations. So fairly and consistently, that that you have to note. That is normally whatever the personality traits are there, it will be very difficult for person uh, to manipulate it the person will not be able to manipulate. Knowing differences in personality traits can help predict more accurately how people will tend to act in a different situation, but like whatever the unseen is there no, the unseen is because of the personality traits and if you are capable enough to identify that unseen personality traits to judge the person. Hmm? So, therefore, uh, the, the leader when he, he identifies that type of these uh, the unseen uh, personality traits then definitely he will be able to predict your behavior. Leader behavior reflects an interaction between personality trait and various situational factors. Weak situations are unfamiliar and ambiguous is there and strong situations are governed by the specific rules, uh, demands or the organizational policies which can minimize the effects that traits have on behavior is there. And therefore, in that case whenever we are talking about these strong situations are there then uh, these strong situations uh, uh, which we, which can minimize the effect uh, uh, that, that is the uh, trait on the behavior is there because there is a favorable situation is there. In this trait theory of leadership uh, based on the assumption that people are born with inherent traits and some traits are particularly suited to leadership. 
So, in earlier session we have talked about leaders are born or leaders are made and here we talk about that is the leaders uh, some, some traits are uh, the person born with the certain personality traits uh, which is suited to the leadership. The theory aims to discover specific leadership and personality traits and characteristics proven to predict the likelihood of success or failure of a leader and also differentiate leader from follower. And therefore, in that case it, it, it will be seen that is the whenever we are talking about uh, that success or failure of a leader then definitely this particular the trait theories that differentiates the behavior. And this theory is described by the Kelly in 1974 attempts to classify what personal characteristics such as physical as I mentioned earlier biological, personality, psychological and mental are associated with the leadership success is there. And therefore, uh, in 1974 this, uh, this theory supported the trait theory, trait behavior and therefore, leaders those who are born with this leadership certain traits then definitely in that case that they, they will be the successful is there. And these characteristics are the uh, physical and personality and mental are there. Whenever we are talking about this physical and mental personality then, they, then uh, uh, these are the supported by the personality traits. Traits also called dispositions, traits can be defined as habitual patterns of behavior thought and emotion, habitual pattern of the thought also and emotions also. So, in a given situation what will be your thought process? A leader will be able to identify and the what will be your emotions and then, then he will be able to uh, leader can, can predict that. So, uh, traits are relatively stable over time differ across individuals and influence the behavior. Traits are external behaviors and that emerge from internal beliefs and processes are there a very beautiful uh, explanation that is the these are internal, but express externally. The trait approach to personality is one of the major theoretical areas in the study of human personality and focus on difference between the individuals. So, therefore, uh, whenever the discussion comes uh, that is the what, what is the difference between the two individuals. So, this trait approach has been uh, uh, considered first that is they are different because of these uh, uh, the uh, their personality traits are different. So, to study the leadership that is the, the very different traits of the personality those have been identified and on basis of this identification various traits from a personality and that the, which is the unique to the individual that will determine whether the person will be leader or he will not be leader. The Gordon Alport's trait theory, Gordon Alport categorized traits into three levels um, that is the cardinal traits and the central traits are there. The cardinal traits are uh, traits that did, uh, dominate an individual's whole life um, often to the point that the person becomes known specifically for these traits is there and therefore, in, in that case uh, throughout his life the person uh, showcase his those personality traits. While the central traits are the those traits, the general characteristics that form the basic foundations of personality and the central traits while not as dominating as cardinal traits are the major characteristics you might use to describe another person. So, sir, there are the, the this, uh, central traits are there which are basically the uh, foundation of personality and uh, the cardinal traits are which are which are the reflecting throughout the life. The secondary traits uh, in the case of the central traits examples have been given intelligence, honest, shy, anxious are considered as a central traits are there. The secondary traits that are sometimes related to the attitudes or preference and often appear only in certain situations are there. So, secondary traits are for example, unfavorable situation. If unfavorable situation arises uh, then definitely there will be the secondary traits will be there and then under the specific circumstances these secondary traits will, uh, will be re reflecting. So, therefore, um, the basically throughout life cardinal test is there, central traits are there, they, they form the basic foundation of the personality, uh, but may not be reflected every time right and there uh, and the the uh, Kettle's threat theory is uh, that Alpo, uh, is how it is different from the Alport's uh, theory. After Alport major contribution to threat theory was made by the RB Kettle. He divided traits into two categories right and the surface traits and the source traits are there. So, surface traits as the name suggests these are found on the periphery of personality. 
that is these are reflected in the day to day interactions of the person and their expression is so explicit that it leaves no doubt about their existence in the personality. So, therefore, in that case they, the, in a previous slide we have talked about the foundation of the personality is there, central traits were there which were the foundation of the uh, personality. But so, in these uh, the, these uh, Alport has uh, uh, after Alport this Kettle's uh, threat theory has given the uh, same uh, uh, definition, but he has titled it as the surface traits. Then the source traits are there, these represent the structure of personality, these traits are not observable in day to day uh, interaction of the person, there is a secondary traits in case of the previous slide, uh, Alport's uh, case. Source traits come to notice when some of the surface traits are joined together. This type of traits you know that have been titled by the different authors differently, but basically there are certain personality traits which will be always reflected there will be the certain personality traits which will be reflecting in a given situation, there will be certain personality traits which will be the supporting traits right. So, uh, in, in, in this case uh, what, but our concern that we will uh, take uh, further later on that is about the which traits are important for the leadership. Now, here uh, we, it is the approach motivation is there, in approach motivation behavior approach avoidance framework is instigated or directed by a positive desirable event to po or possibility. So, a person uh, acts, the person acts because he is looking for the positive outcome and that desirable possibility of the outcome uh, that, that directs his behavior and for that behavior he is highly motivated. Second is avoidance motivation. So, naturally undesirable are the negative output is there. So, for, for example, uh, if I will study I will score, if I will not study I will not score. So, therefore, to study is a motivation for the to score and that is a desirable event or the possibility is there right. Avoidance motivation not to study that is also a motivation that uh, uh, we should avoid not to study. And what is why we are avoiding not to study that is a negative undesirable event or possibility is there. So, that fear, fear of getting failure that will be having this particular uh, uh, issue. Personality traits or personality dimensions uh, are there, uh, these are the uh, big five or ocean model of personality is there, an integration of personality research that represents the various personality description in one common framework is there, that is the openness, consciousness. Uh, neuroticism, agreeableness and extraversion is there. So, this is called the big five model is there. A lot of research has been done and then an integration of the personality research right and th this is becoming the common framework has, is coming and in this common framework the person who is having the openness, openness means that is the always ready to welcome the new ideas are there. The individual differences in social and emotional life organized into a five factor model of personality and these are the five factors are there. Broad abstract level and each dimension summarized a larger number of the personality characteristics are there. So, now you see in every individual there are lot of personality traits, but somewhere we have to combine. So, on the basis of uh, research uh, which has been done on the personality, these, uh, uh, these the big five uh, model has uh, has been introduced and therefore, uh, uh, somebody says 16,000 personality traits are there and out of those 16,000 personality traits of the human beings, then uh, we, we have been be able to classify on the basis of uh, these big five dimensions. Consciousness describes a person's ability to regulate their impulse control in order to engage in goal oriented behaviors. It measures elements such as the control, inhibition and persistency of the behavior is there. So, when first we are taking the consciousness, so high on consciousness means competence, organized dutifulness, achievement striving, self discipline and deliberation. You can find out that is the out of this dimension suppose you are rating from scale 1 to 7 then in Likert scale where what whether you have high or you are having the low on consciousness is there. In low on consciousness is incompetent, disorganized, careless, uh, procrastinates, uh, indiscipline and the impulsive is there. 
So, we can judge the individual's personality traits on these, uh, the, on these traits, we can judge the individual and then naturally you can identify who can be the leader. The leader who will be the high on consciousness, then definitely those personality traits a person will be having, uh, you are having the, uh, the number of uh, subordinates and out of those subordinates, those uh, two you have to give a position or a promotion you can say, simple word is promotion. How will you give that promotion or uh, so then, then that will depend on that is the how competent the person is. If the person is highly competent, then it is there, but it is as I already mentioned in earlier that is it is not the competence, it is the convenience also. And when I talk about the convenience, this agreeableness comes. How people train to treat relationship with others? Convenience, I have, I have mentioned that formula, competence and convenience, do not forget that formula. So, unlike extraversion which consists of the pursuit of relationships, agreeableness focuses on people's orientation and interaction with others, HR skills. So, one may be competent, but not necessarily successful leader. So, HR skills are uh, required, what HR skills are required? Trust, to trust your people, because ultimately you have to get work done from them. If you will not trust the people, you will classify your uh, employees into the on the negative traits, How, like uh, here low on agreeableness. You, know? you will, if you are skeptical, demanding, or insult and delightness others, stubborn, show off, unsympathetic. Please don't do this. This is the low on agreeableness is there. Agri what is required to be leader? High on agreeableness is required. That is a modesty, sympathetic, empathy, trust, right? These are these are the traits, personality traits. So suppose you ask the sir, what are the personality traits into the consciousness and agreeableness? So you should look look at the list of the those who are high on consciousness and high on the agreeableness. So therefore, they are high on this their competency and they are high on their these treating the relationship with others. And if you are able to making the treating the relationship with others, then uh, in nicely, then definitely you form convert a group into team. And when you convert the group into team, you are a successful leader. You can judge for the others also whether they are the successful, uh, they can become the successful leaders or not. If they are high on the consciousness and agreeableness. Now the extraversion. What is extraversion? Extraversion reflects the tendency and intensity to which someone seeks interaction with their environment, whatever environment is there, favorable or unfavorable, particularly socially, social environment is there and when they are in, uh, suppose the marriage is there, meeting is there, gathering is there, formal uh, uh, social activity is there, it encompasses the comfort and assertion level of people in social situation, how much comfortable you are, you just come you attend the function and you go without in much interacting with others. Whatever the minimum interaction is required, you just say hello, hi, good morning, good evening and that is all. No, that is the, what is required to be successful leader, high on extraversion is required, sociable. Energized by social interaction, excitement seeking, enjoys being the center of attention and outgoing is there. Dear friends, this, this is based on the research. So, therefore, you, you have to develop. Now, you will say, sir, I am low on extraversion. Can I convert my low on extraversion to the high on extraversion? Yes, you can convert. How you can convert? Very simple example. If you prefer the, if you are a low on extraversion, you will prefer the solitude. No, become the more socialized, interact with the people, become the center point of the discussion and therefore, people surrounding to you, they focus on you and they start talking. You will find in your family also, hmm? if there is a marriage or something is there, you find there is one uncle or auntie that everybody is around to that uncle or auntie and they, they, they are holding the position <laughs> though they are not the parents uh, of the, uh, 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 neither the uh, groom or the bride, they are not uh, there, but uh, uh, they, they are the center point are there. So, that, that is the extraversion, openness to experience. Now, you see life is a journey and in journey we are having the lot of experiences. 
So, they will be the different platforms, right? it is a journey from platform to platform, from birth to, to the funeral. So, therefore, in that case, so lot of experiences are there <laughs> and then you some, some are sweet, some are sorrow. So, therefore, in that case, um, but what leader is required? Leaders cannot take uh, uh, these things to the heart for a long time, <laughs> right? Uh, you have to adjust with the environment. So, uh, high and openness to experiences, curious, imaginative, creative, open to trying new things, and the unconventionals are there. So, therefore, um, try. Why not try? If you will not try, you th then how will you get it? So, try. Um, maybe. Otherwise, it may not be. So, if it is may not be, okay, that is fine. We were knowing it may not be, but uh, we tried. So, it may be, right. That is the neuroticism is there. It describes the overall emotional stability of an individual through how they perceive the world. Uh, it takes into account how likely a person is to interpret events as a threatening or difficult, right. It also includes one's uh, propensity to experience the negative emotions. I come across many times this type of this uh, list is there of the high neuroticism and the low neuroticism and then I come across this type of these uh, 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 issues uh, with the uh, uh, my uh, alumni uh, that is the, the boss is bully and therefore, they want to leave the organization. So, it is basically what happens that is they, they are the, these are neuroticism right how likely a person is to interpret the events. Hmm? is threatening or difficult. So, the bully boss will be bully for everybody. So, if you will ask your colleagues, your seniors, they will say, ah, he behaves like this only, right. So, but uh, they do not give that much importance, right. But we are new. So, when we, we face this type of the situation first time, so we are scared, that is also natural. I do not say that there is something wrong. But what is important is, that is the how you interpret it. And then you say, oh, this boss will uh, throw me out, my life will be miserable, my family will is dependent on me, where I will go, there are new jobs, corona is there. So, then, then it, it is the, it is the interpretation basically. How do you interpret? How leaders will interpret? Inter leaders will interpret with the fighting spirit. So, uh, when we are talking of the, these big five traits, uh, the uh, emotional stability, extraversion, openness, agreeableness and consciousness, uh, then the, the less negative thinking and the fewer negative emotions and less uh, hyper vigilant are there, right, in emotional stability. What does it affect? Higher job and the life satisfaction and lower stress level is there, right, because they are having the less negative thinking is there, those who are emotionally stable. Extraversion people, better interpersonal skills as I see, I have mentioned, they are, they are more socializing, greater social dominance and more emotional uh, than the expressive are there. So, higher performance, enhanced leadership, higher job and the life satisfaction is there. In case of the openness, increased learning, so therefore, training performance, enhanced leadership and the more adaptable to the change is there. In case of the agreeableness, better liked, more compliant and the confirming is there, because they are having the better acceptance. A higher performance, lower level of the deviant behavior is there. The consciousness is there, greater efforts and the um, persistence, more drive and discipline is there, higher performance, enhanced leadership and the greater longevity is there. So, therefore, in that case you will find, whenever we are talking about these big five traits, then whatever is the, uh, the way we handle the situation. Again, uh, how the one handles the situation? On the basis of heredity, environment and situation, but his basic personality traits, the core traits, right, which we, which has been given by the Alport and uh, Kettle's model we have seen. And therefore, in that case, I, I, we, we can find out that is on these five dimensions, how the one will react, that will depend on that is the how his personality traits are. So, here openness to experience, uh, I like traveling to foreign countries, I enjoy going to attend learning and development sessions. So, you can find out hmm, from yourself or you, from your the, uh, 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 the those uh, employees to whom you want to give the leadership uh, assignment. That is whether they like the traveling or they enjoy going to attend learning or they are focused only on their work and therefore, they are happy, they cannot be the leaders. 
because they, they are narrowed down downing their, uh, uh, their premises. In consciousness, I enjoy putting together detailed plans are there, I rarely get into trouble. Extraversion is, I like having responsibility for others, I have a large group of friends, so therefore that is a more socialization. Agreeableness, I am a sympathetic person, I get along with others. Noticism, I remain calm in present situations, I take personal criticism well. Now, this is very, very important point, that, that, that is the, these positive traits, hmm? openness, consciousness, extraversion, agreeableness, that is okay, that is fine, but you have to also to be very careful in developing noticism. So, therefore, in that case, if you are able to take the pressure of the work environment, if you are having the ability to compete with the whatever the negative situation is there, then, then you, you, you will be more successful. So, therefore, if you take the personal criticism also very well, that is yes, uh, if this is, this is the uh, situation uh, I, 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 uh, and uh, the people are saying that is you are having this weakness, no problem, I will try to develop my, uh, convert my uh, weakness into the strength. Huh? So, I develop my strength and uh, minimize my weaknesses and like this uh, uh, the, the noticism uh, will be applicable in developing the leadership by personality. So, model pro provides an explanation for leaders and followers tendencies to act in the consistent ways over time. Behavior manifestations of personality traits are often exhibited automatically and unconsciously. So, therefore, in, in, in this case you will find uh, that immediate react are you respond. So, that reaction or respond to a given situation and that, that is about the behavior manifestation is there and uh, that person cannot hide. So, therefore, in that case uh, these, these uh, five big five for the ocean model it talks about uh, uh, that is the leadership gains self insights to improve decision making. So, because you know what is your personality once you know your personality, then you it will be helpful for your decision making. Leadership researchers categorize findings that is the how the findings are relevant. Model helps to profile the leaders and model seems to be universally applicable across the cultures are there. If this is a situation, then uh, these are uh, uh, reliably categorize the five major dimensions of this five factor model is are good measures of leadership potential can be used to make predictions about typical behavior at work. So, what will be behavior at work that you can predict and tend to be difficult to change are exhibited automatically and without conscious thought and uh, predispose people to act in certain ways, but behaviors can be modified through the experience feedback and reflection is there. As usual, uh, now after the understanding of the personality traits and uh, then the, the, uh, the uh, definitions of personality and the Alport's model and Kettle's model, then the big five model. Now, we will talk about a particular practical application that is a case study is there. One, down, uh, one downside of agreeableness is potentially lower earnings. Recent research has shown the answer to these and other puzzles, some of them may surprise you. So, well, most obvious agreeable individual are less adapt at a type of negotiation called dis, uh, distributive bargaining. This is very, very interesting. What is the distributive bargaining where, where the rewards are given? It is less about the creating win-win situation and more about claiming as large of a share of the pie is possible. Because salary negotiations are generally distributive, agreeable individuals often negotiate lower salaries for themselves agreeableness because you say okay, it is fine then they might otherwise get. Perhaps because of this impaired ability to negotiate distributively, agreeable individuals have lower credit scores. So, therefore, agreeableness is good, but up, up to a certain extent. Second, agreeable individuals may choose to work in industries or occupations that learn lower salaries such as the caring industries of the education or healthcare. Right, because they are not looking for the much uh, uh, materialistic uh, uh, the returns on their efforts. Agreeable individuals are also attracted to jobs both in the public sector and in non-profit organizations. Uh, third, the earnings of agreeable individuals also may be reduced by their low drive to emerge as leaders and by their tendency to engage in lower degrees of uh, proactive task behavior, such as coming up with the ways to increase organizational effectiveness and therefore, they will not come forward much about uh, their uh, the in, in the front row uh, uh, by the social centric uh, behavior. While being agreeable certainly does not appear to help one's pay, 
it does provide other benefits. Agreeable individuals are better liked at work and generally are happier at work and in life. Right? That, that is the um, biggest reward to a person who is having the agreeableness. Nice guys and girls may finish last in terms of earnings, but wages themselves do not define, define a happy life and on that front agreeable individuals have the advantage. Do you think employers must choose between agreeable employees and the top performers, why or not? Right? So, that this is the assignment for you, these are the questions, the effects of personality depend on the situation. Can you think of the same job situation in which agreeableness is an important virtue, in some in which it is harmful to job performance? In some research we have conducted, we have found that the negative effect of agreeableness on earning is stronger for men than for women. That is being agreeable hurt men's earning more than women's. Why do you think this might be the case? Why in the gender basis that is the agreeableness and the, the pay structure uh, that is differentiating? This is a research paper measuring the leader behavior evidence for a big five model of leadership which you can refer and uh, the, uh, here we can learn from this that is uh, this 360 degree survey rating uh, earlier also we have talked about this 360 degree right and uh, here we can find out this study includes the support for an integrating model of leadership behavior and large body of psychological research and the practical implication is this that is uh, we can identify the effectiveness of the behavior. And if we, if it is a behavior change, you are able to predict, you can find out the leaders also. This is the uh, book, Personality, What Makes You the Way You Are, like by the Daniel Nettel, and that uh, you can refer if you find it interesting and uh, showing how our personality is just came from our biological makeup, right. Uh, I am sure that you will like uh, this particular book uh, and uh, you may refer for this particular further studies. These are the references uh, which are for this text and also for your further readings and this is all about the, the personality and leadership behavior. Thank you.